What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing a red as a super hat and welcome to the Modern Ninja channel. And today we're starting off our next series of monthly tutorials. Usually this series takes a combination like one of the ones you're seeing right now and breaks them down into digestible chunks so you can learn them step by step and at the end of the month you'll be able to do a full combination. But this month we're not actually doing that. We're actually taking a step back to your basics to go over some of the uh, things that everyone needs to know. Now, I've been doing tutorials for quite a while on this channel. I've been, it's one of the longest running series I have. And as such, I have many videos in that playlist. If you want to check it out, it'll be linked at the end of the video. But if you miss some of the basic stuff uh, that you need to know as far as your technique goes, that's okay. You don't have to scroll back. Uh, That's why I'm making these videos this month. We're gonna cover a traditional block, two traditional kicks, and today we're covering a traditional punch, how to punch. Yeah, I know it seems kind of basic, like everyone should know how to punch, and honestly, everyone should know how to punch, but people really don't know what they're doing. So I'm gonna break down some common misconceptions that people have. So in order to throw a punch, you need to first know how to make a fist. And to make a fist, you're gonna start with your hand, taking your, your fingers, keeping them together and rolling them in and nice and tight. You wanna make sure there's no holes through your fist that you could see the other side with. You don't want that. So to avoid it, make sure that those fingers are tight. Then we're going into probably one is the, probably, now then we, then we go into probably what is the most often messed up part of punching and that is your thumb placement. Um, the correct thumb placement is curling underneath your fingers just like that it stays underneath it doesn't stick out this is your correct placement a couple things to watch out for are as follows the first being sticking your thumb inside your hand this is a huge no-go you never want to do that that is always a bad idea because you risk likely breaking your thumb no matter what you hit you can hit someone in the stomach and they should still break your thumb it doesn't matter how hard the surface is that you're hitting the way this works the force will be applied to your joint and you will likely break your thumb. The next one you should look out for is having your thumb be on top of your fist, just like so. Because if you're punching something and your thumb is the first thing to make contact, that is quite a lot of force on a very, very small bone. And you're likely to break it. Again, you don't wanna break your thumb. That's not a fun time. So to avoid that, you know, don't stick your thumb out on top of your fist. And along with that, a really sneaky one is actually sticking your thumb underneath, but not curling it in enough and actually just keeping it pointing out. And for the exact same reason, hitting with your thumb first is a great way to break it. So you're gonna wanna make sure you don't do that. Now, next on this list of things to watch out for is making sure you're not curling your wrist. Now, in more advanced styles or more advanced points in your martial arts, there are different curved and uh, wrist punches and so that can be effective but that's not the basics that we're going over right now so for right now if you're just learning how to throw a punch you're going to want to keep your wrist straight and in fact you're going to line your first two knuckles up with the bones in your forearm just like so so they stay what we call stacked and so they're all in the same line so that when you hit something you don't end up breaking your wrist. And along those lines, you also are gonna wanna make sure you hit with those two knuckles that you have um, lined up with the rest of your hand. Now, once you have that, let's work on throwing set punch. Your power is going to come from your hip. And so using your hip first is the way to throw your punch. If you're just throwing it with your hands, you are only using your arm strength. And if you're a smaller person, that may not be a lot. So instead, use your entire body weight. And you do that by thrusting your hip forward at the same time your punch goes straight out. You don't wanna get in the habit of doing these wide swinging punches because A, that leads with your thumb, great way to break it, or that can lead with you hitting with, with your pinky. And again, that can break it. So going straight out, pushing your hip forward and driving straight out is the way to safely punch. And I use safely roughly because uh, palm strikes are usually better than punching anyway. Maybe one of those kicking videos, I need to switch to a palm strike video, but we'll see. And lastly, I strongly suggest using body punches. If you are not wearing gloves and pads, and even if you are wearing gloves and pads, it's very easy to break your knuckles when you're punching a hard surface, like somebody's face. This face is very bony and someone's skull is 
probably stronger than your knuckles and your fingers, especially if you're a smaller person. So instead of punching the face, try punching your, your ribs or kidneys or other softer targets that uh, your knuckles will withstand the impact for. Now, before I let you go, make sure you guys drop a like on this video if you made it this far to just, you know, show some appreciation. I would really, really appreciate that. And if you would like, join the Patreon for a bunch of perks that will be listed in Patreon if you're curious. Link is always down in the bio. But until next time, my name's DJ Moore. This is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out. If you like this video, check out this one about the combination we did last month, or this one that you think you'll enjoy as well. Either way, I'll see you guys in the next one.